Hi, hi. How are you all today? I've decided that I'm going to do a start to finish, uh, pretty much, of making a new Harris Tweed. Um, and this one is for a friend of mine, Colin. And that's the tweed I'm going to be weaving. Now, if you're not a weaver, that probably doesn't mean very much. So it will look something like that. Um, the colours aren't exact, but that's that's an idea. So it's a hound's tooth with a chick. And these are the colours we're going to be using. So that brown and that yellow are going to be the main colours of the of the tweed. And then the chick is going to be that green and that red. So I'm about to start prepping for warping. I have all my cones ready to go. Um, I just need to go and make another cup of tea. And probably fill up the cat's dishes. And um, yeah, we'll see you once I finish coning. So, I lied, we're not at the coning stage yet, and I've finished another cup of tea. But, <clears throat> and this might be uh, incredibly boring, and if it is, I apologise. But this pattern repeat is 88 ends, and I warp with 58 ends. Now, this will hopefully make a bit more sense when you see uh, the way I warp. But I've had to do quite a lot of calculations and working out and using the old grey cells, and I have this. Now this is simply to tell me, normally when you warp, each section would be the same. But in this case, each section is going to be different. So um, this is laid out now, each section, how I'm going to have to move the yarn and all the cones so that everything works. But sometimes this is just what you've got to do. Um, you can sometimes split a pattern. So if the pattern had been 116, I could split it in half to 58 and I could reverse the, the heck on the warping mill and all these things. Again, all this will hopefully make more sense when you see the warping. But yeah, so it's taken me another hour or so to, to work all this out. Um, and then we need to start coning. Now, I am going to warp with 58 cones or ends at a time. But I'm actually going to have to make 64 cones. Um, because of moving all the, the cones around. So sometimes there's going to be more of one colour than would normally be there. Um, again, hopefully it will all make sense. I suppose I'm jumping the gun a bit. And then I need to work out how much yarn to put on each cone in order to give me the length that I'm going to warp. So that, luckily, I have a little black book that should give me all the calculations I need for that that I've been working out over the years. And I will then be setting a timer for every cone I'm running through. And you'll see that in the next stage. Hi, hi. Here we are back again. And a uh, fresh cup of tea. All ready to start coning. Um, so I've worked out the length of time that we need each cone to be and um, yeah we just need to get going now and get all 64 done. <laughs> So we had a, a wee glitch there, but I think you get the essence of it. Um, and that's us now. We keep going until we've done 28 of this colour and then 28 yellow, 4 green, 4 red. But don't worry, I'll speed it all up to make life easier.
So I um, forgot to charge my phone and it died whilst we were coning. But we were nearly done anyway, so it's all good. But here we are, uh, 64 cones, all ready for warping. And that is where I will see you next. <laughs>